first video with the new lens. journey for my own boudoir shoot to celebrate my 30th birthday. Earlier this year I was like, you know what, fuck it. YOLO as the youth would say. I have always wanted to shoot with this photographer who lives in Connecticut. Um, it's always been my dream. It was always, if somebody asked me who I would want to shoot with, she was like first on my list. So my 30th birthday came around and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do what my clients do. A lot of my clients book for their 30th or their 40th birthday. It's like, I'm gonna book for my 30th birthday. So I did it and we're on our way and it's actually happening and it's pretty crazy. So I'm traveling across the continent to shoot with this photographer. Um, it's for me to celebrate myself, but also it's a little bit of for my clients as well because now I get to see how it feels to have your trust entirely in somebody else um, and to just like let the process unfold on someone else's creative whims. And I think it's gonna be really informative and really just a really good way for me to experience what my clients experience. So I'm excited for that as well. Um, but yeah, we're at first leg of the journey. So I'm in my first hotel uh, at the airport because my flight is at six in the morning. <clears throat> so I got here because it's got a real big bathtub and I had enough points to book it for free. So I was like, fuck it. This is easy. It's better than sleeping on a friend's couch. So it's bougie. We're, we're going bougie this trip. Bougieing it up. Because I deserve it. So I'm going to go have a bubble bath and just treat myself tonight. And then tomorrow, the adventure begins. So good night. See you in the morning. wake up at 3 and then I got into the hotel at like 5 p.m. 2 a.m. 5 p.m. So I just like went and ate pizza and passed the frick out. And now I'm gonna go explore Hartford so let's go get ready for the day. Hartford, Connecticut. Um, I was really excited initially because there's actually like a surprisingly amazing museum here. This looks great. This is a this is a look um, that has a lot of European art, and I was like, "Fuck yeah! I'm gonna go explore this museum. It's gonna be perfect." It's closed on Mondays. I got way too excited for this hotel that or this museum that I can't see, um, but that's okay. The point of this trip, like, I gave myself an extra day because I know traveling makes me really, like, it's just really hard on me. I lose a lot of my spoons. Um, my body doesn't handle it very well. So I was like, I want a day, just like a day, to decompress and, like, explore a little bit. Like, I could have done it cheaper and just, like, flown in and out, but whatever. This is all about indulging and being present. Um, and that means having an extra day to explore. So there's a cute cafe I found on the internet. So I'm gonna go. I'm running out of makeup in my tube. 
You know, when you're like down to the bare bones and you're just like, come on, just a little bit more. Just give me a little bit more. Motherfucker. It's not, it's not doing it. I'm gonna cut this out. Me struggling. What if I just, come on. There we go. Okay, I got enough. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna go explore and see what Connecticut has to offer. Cute cafe I found online that I'm just gonna go post up and do some writing for my course that I'm launching on my birthday. Um, so I'm like a, a little bit over a month and I really need to finish the last modules. So I'm gonna go write and finish that. And then there's some really cool like old buildings that I really wanna check out. Um, Victoria BC doesn't really have a lot of like old architecture. Um, so I'm like a, I'm a simp for a good staircase and some good arches and Hartford, Connecticut is abundant in both of those. <laughs> so I'm going to go on like an arch hunt um, and just bring my camera and really make it like a little artist state, have a little artist state and just take pictures of things that I want to, uh, take videos of things that look really cool so I can remember my trip later um, and just take y'all on a little pseudo baby adventure, just a little baby adventure. And then tomorrow is the big day. So I want to also like tire myself out so I'm not super anxious tonight and I actually get like a good night's sleep. So today is for exploring and making myself tired. So I'm not going to finish go getting ready and then we'll go on an adventure. Hartford, Connecticut on a Monday. Boring as shit. Sorry, Hartford. Everything was closed. So I just walked around and got coffee and I looked at pretty buildings, took a couple pictures of some nice doors, but then I just came home and did some work. So pretty uninspiring day. Um, but I'm trying to like get into my bod before the shoot tomorrow um so i brought my feather fans with me on this trip um, because i want to get photos with them i think it'll be really nice to have them done in the style that this artist does so i just like played around with those listened to some music really just dropping into my body um and then i kind of was like oh this lamp makes really cool light on the wall and so I ended up doing a really, really impromptu self-portrait session just like in this little corner of a Hilton hotel. Um, and they look really cool. So I'm gonna load them up on the computer and see uh, if any of them turned out. Um, but yeah, that's how I'm kind of spending like my evening before a pretty nerve wracking day is just doing stuff that inspires me and calls to me and just like really grounding into my bod drinking lots of water because drinking lots of water before your shoot is really good for your skin um i shaved my legs fancy that's my update from my day before my shoot adventures were not very adventureful but i will take y'all with me tomorrow on the actual shoot to kind of show you what that day looks like um so yeah See you guys tomorrow. Big day. Good night. Good morning. It is shoot day. Um, I actually slept like fairly well last night. I did some impromptu self portraits, which was unexpected and felt really nice. Um, I just had like a lot of energy and like jimmies at the jimmies last night. So I danced in my outfits that I'm gonna wear. For the shoot today which helps me like kind of get into my bod feel really good um like get some of those jimmy jams out um and now i'm just drinking some product placement starbies obviously not sponsored um and yeah i'm gonna call my uber soon i 
to y'all with me on this adventure. Hopefully my nerves dissipate soon. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this! just got back from my shoot. Ugh. It went so well and I loved seeing my pictures. It was so cool. Ugh. Ugh, that's really uncomfortable to sit like. <laughs> Let me get more comfortable. Um, yeah, it felt really cool to be on the other side. It was such a weird process. I, yeah, I just loved it. It was really cool to just see how it feels to have somebody else like creatively in charge and like not know what photos look like and stuff because that's something uh, that yeah is weird for clients when they're like I don't know what this looks like you really have to like trust in the process so that felt really good I feel like Danielle is such an artist so there was nobody else I would have I wanted to trust to do this experience with and I'm really glad that I would just fucking was like fuck it and flew halfway across the continent all the way across the continent <laughs> to do it because I'm just so happy with um, how they turned out and I am like literally on cloud nine I feel like how my clients feel when they leave the studio where it's just like yeah I did it I did that big scary thing and I'm so proud of myself and I'm so happy um I'm still low-key like in shock that any of this is even happening that I'm like in Connecticut and I just did booty photos but I'm excited and now I'm gonna go take myself for dinner because like look at this makeup like I look snatched and <laughs> I gotta go get a glass of wine to celebrate um so that's what we gonna do to show the world this amazing makeup yeah and um if you want to hear more about this process I'll probably make another video about like how to prepare for your boudoir shoot um as like a separate part this is more just vlog style so i hope you guys enjoyed coming on this trip with me um and yeah i'm gonna go eat and i'm very excited to come back to canada because the states is great but um i miss canada i miss where my dollar is worth a dollar and not 70 cents <laughs> okay thanks for being here subscribe like hit that bell all that fun stuff love you bye Mwah.